It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And the wait is over for this rivalry game. It's the New York Jets and the New England Patriots. And it's coming up next on Madden Football. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. Today, a fun matchup in the AFC East, as it'll be the New York Jets taking on the New England Patriots. Brandon Gaud and Charles Davis on hand. Kickoff just moments away. Charles, quickly, keys to the game. For me, it's coaching. Who prepared his team the best going into this one to give them the confidence to believe that they would win the game? That's who's going to come out of this one on top. Kicker Chad Ryland has this one teed up, and we are underway. Off we go in Foxborough. And this taken in at the goal line. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. So now here comes the Jet offense as they get ready to take over. They'll be led out by Zach Wilson, former second overall pick, now in his third season out of BYU. And what was really attractive about Zach Wilson coming out of college, coming out of BYU, his ability to create and make plays when many people thought they didn't exist. But what's been even better is watch him improve in the pocket, able to hit the back foot, make the right read, and the right throws. They go play action now, Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. And he gets it here to right around the 24 before he's out of bounds. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. First carry for the Iowa State man, Brees Hall. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Anytime a team goes on the road, there's always that little bit of fear that maybe they can be affected by the hometown crowd. But this is where game planning really came into play. They talked about it all week. Go in there, establish yourselves. Well, that run right there, that slows down the crowd and gives them a lot of confidence. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Consecutive positive runs for him on the last two snaps. He certainly appears to be trying to put the offense on his back and just move them down the field when his number is called. The way he's running it, I keep going back to him. Second and five. To throw is Wilson. He'll get this to Lazard. So five yards here, five on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Wilson. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe at the 49. Wilson to Wilson there, Zach to Garrett for a jet first down. Well, they kept it simple there, CD, only needing the short gain to move the chain, so they didn't want to go with a deep throw. They just go with that safer, shorter throw and able to convert. Nothing wrong with that at all, partner. Check the box, right? Make sure you pick up the first down. Offense is getting established. You're moving the ball. You're not turning it over. Check, check, check. They like what they're doing early in the game. A gain of three last play. This time they double it and pick up six. 
Second down and four. Throwing again here, Wilson. He finds his man complete. It's Wilson. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. And he remains perfect on this opening drive. Charles now 5 of 5 and another first down to work with. He's like one of those great shooters in basketball that has his rhythm, has his confidence. He doesn't think anything is going to miss right now. As far as he's concerned, he's going to be perfect the entire game. And who's to say that it won't happen the way he's throwing it right now? Now he's flushed down left. And this will go as a gain of 7 as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Ball on the 30 now. Here's second down and three. On second down, a run with Hall. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. So play number 10 now coming. It's been a long opening drive, but this is third down. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. That's good for a Jet first down, a gain of 13. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing. Right now, everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hall. He will push his way down to about the 14. Two yards on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Now that's a mountain of a man that just made that stop, isn't it? But he's more than that. This guy is nimble and quick. More than a space eater, he just made a great play there. Second down and eight. Now a give running right, it's Cook. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. Throwing is Wilson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And the Jets are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical, they've been crisp, and as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run with Hall. And he will push his way forward down to about the three-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Here's where we need to see some tenacity from this defense because they've been pushed right down the field on this opening drive. They've got to find some way to push back, and that's a good first step. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Now it's Wilson. Got a man. It's caught. Touchdown, Jets. Alan Lazard from three yards out. And the Jets are on the board first here this afternoon. Personally for him, a great opening drive. He had three catches, including the touchdown. That felt like tremendous scouting, great film watching, and creating a game plan to start this off, not only to get him involved, but to send a message to the defense. You can have a lot to handle in this one. Now Greg Zerline on for the extra point. He's got it, and the Jets lead 7-0. That drive, a long one, spanning 15 plays, and it ends with a Jet touchdown.
Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Out of his end zone, here comes Jalen Rager. And he returns this to the 22. So now the Patriots getting sent to take over on offense. And they're brought out by just the second Western Kentucky alone to start a game at QB in the NFL. In his second season, Bailey Zappi. And he's a young man who's always believed in his talents. Didn't have many offers out of high school. Ended up at Houston Baptist and put up monster numbers. Decided to take the next step and go to Western Kentucky. And he did it again. He set NCAA records for passing touchdowns and passing yards in a single season. Now the big jump to the NFL. This guy's like a very skilled point guard. Knows how to deal and put the ball in the proper place with every throw. Zappi. Short pass caught by Henry. So the completion results there in nine yards. And they'll have a second and one forthcoming. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. From the 31, here comes second and a yard. First carry now for Ramon Ray Stevenson. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Well, partner, I haven't seen a vote for most popular player on the team. This guy's got to get a lot of votes. He does not care, does he? Totally unselfish, physical runner, doesn't worry about yardage, just keeps moving the chains, being a team player. Zappi to throw on first down. And this one almost intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive, INT. Well, how about the challenge we're seeing here in this game early? Man coverage against some fleet receivers. That time, the defense won. Here's second and 10. Zappi looks to throw it. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. And not all spectacular catches are the result of a pass that maybe was not thrown quite right. Sometimes it's thrown in the perfect spot, and you have to just go get it. And he did that right there. No fear there in the middle of the field. Zappi off play action. Now a short one to Gesicki. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. If I'm making excuses, and I am, sometimes the sun can be difficult on a ball like that. That looked like it was going to be right there, but it's in and out of his hands. And a potential big play goes by the wayside. Another throw coming for Zampi. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. So on fourth down, here's Bryce Behringer on to punt for the Patriots. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. That'll be out of bounds, and how good was that? They'll say the three-yard line. That's where they spot it. Back onto the field come the New York Jets for their second drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. That'd be ideal. First and 10, and they've got three tight ends out there. A jumbo package look. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. 
And that's frustrating for a defense because they've got them pinned down deep. And on the first play, they give up a run that keeps an offense on schedule. Yeah, because three to four yards, that's all you're looking for right there, right? That's absolutely perfect, really, as a play call. You get three to four yards on first down. That's what they talk about, Dustin, all the time, about being ahead of the chains or on target, ahead of schedule. They were. After. And he's going to go down. He backed up into the end zone, and this is going to wind up a safety. Every team has plays in their book to try to buy some room when a safety's on the table. But a big variable is how does each team deal with the pressure of executing in those situations? In this case, they didn't, and they gave up two points. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Here comes Rager. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. Good starting position for the Patriot offense as they come up first and 10 at their 35 yard line. Zappy. And the Jets pressure too much as down he goes. The former third overall pick, Quinnen Williams, there to bring him down. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Now Zappi. Got a man open. That's Devontae Parker complete. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. Here is third down and four. Zappi back to throw. And it's a fumble, and it's scooped up by the Jets. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he takes it to the house. It's a fumble recovery for a Jet touchdown. The pass receiver turned into a runner, then he turned into a fumbler, and it goes the other way for six. I love your description. Although for the offense, they're not too happy about it. But for the defense, what a big time play for them. Never give up on anything. Sometimes you create your own points. But the receiver, hard to fault him. He's just going for extra yard. That's exactly what you're supposed to do, but you have to take care of the football. Now Zerlein on and the extra point. And this one gives his guys a 12-point lead. So not only the cough up, but then the pick up on the other side, the scoop and the score the other way, the fumble return for a touchdown. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Here's Rager. He's going to bring this one out. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down officially at the 21. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. They'll go to work with a little momentum following the free kick. First and 10. A 
And the drive starts with a carry by Stevenson. Ball past the 25 to the 26, a gain of five. Now second and five. And Zappi to throw. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and it's third and five. Looking to throw, Zappi. Able to find the open man, that's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Stevenson now on first and 10. And he's across the 45. It'll be second down. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. An entertaining start to this one. More to come on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. And they'll come up second and seven as they've got it as we resume action. Open man, that's Henry. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it's third and four now. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. And this offense on third down today, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Here's Zappi. That's caught by Parker. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 30. Give them 22 there on the third down conversion. Yeah, these are the types of plays they're going to need to hit on if they're going to get back into this game. It hasn't been the greatest of first half, but this is a nice throw here on third down, and they keep the drive going. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Now Zappi. Over the middle complete. It's Stevenson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Zappi from the gun. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. Quinnen Williams, that is now two sacks for him here in this first half. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. But you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. And the Jets are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. That throw, Charles, over the middle of the field, and a few too many bodies in there got picked. That's a normal situation, too, isn't it? No matter how hard you try and spread the field sometimes, there's always going to be a traffic jam, it feels like, towards the middle. And if there's any type of a missed throw, or maybe the ball's tipped, or just too many bodies in the area, an interception can result.
Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. He'll give it to Hall to start the drive. Some fancy footwork, but not much room to operate. Just up past the 25 and no further. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now that's the type of play that'll fire up a defense, hold them to one yard on a first down run. It'll be interesting to see if the offense decides to press the run at all, or if they'll abandon it now after gaining only one on that play. All again on second down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Back-to-back -back runs, I'd say that encompassed maximum effort for minimal gain. Minimal yardage, and now they're gonna need something more than minimal on this play coming up. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Here's Wilson. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So many times when we talk about covers, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. Now here's Morstead now as he sends this one away. Fair catch called for and made right at the 25-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt, and the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. They're sort of seeing themselves spiral out of control. Let's see if they can get things back on track. And this is where the coach is walking that line of being calm and really being firm with his team. I had one tell me once, you know, when we were having a tough patch, this two shall pass, this two shall pass, and it finally we kept having a rough patch. He said, but you've got to do something <laughs> Heads up. to make it pass, and that's what they have to do. They've got to get some control back, get themselves reasserted, and calm things down. See if they can get calm and reassert themselves here. So just three yards on the completion there and it'll be second down. And there's a completion to the tight end, and look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football, and that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. And able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. They'll come up now, third and three. The play fake, and now here's Zappi. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of eight on the sack, and it's going to lead him to fourth down. These sacks now, they're starting to pile up, Charles, and that front seven defensively, they've had their way with this offensive line. And I think at this stage, we have to start thinking about different play calls. We've got to start helping this quarterback out because the entire game, he's been under siege. I don't care what the down and distance, they've got to get the ball out of his hands a lot quicker. And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. A 40-yard punt, no return. And the Jets will take over first and 10. The New York set to take the field. No points last time out. They were forced to punt, if you remember, but no time to dwell on that. They've still got the lead here and a chance to add to that here. First and 10 as this new drive starts. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at about the 32. Throwing to start the drive. Wilson. Gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. The coverage may be too good that time as he breaks away for 19 with his legs and a first down. I can't be sure how much of that was planned pre-snap, but it certainly opens up some avenues for their offense. And if he can stay a threat to break off those kind of runs, it'll pull defenders away from coverage and open up some choice throwing lanes for him moving forward. Wilson. That's complete to Lazard. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 
Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Well, they obviously read man coverage their partner, and he got downfield, broke down the defender, made him what think. What do you mean by that? Bro? Yeah, he made him think he was going to run a different route, probably thought he was going to take it upfield, and then he curls back inside for the completion. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they'll get to the end zone real fast. On first and 10, it's Wilson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Looked like they had an opportunity for a big play across the middle, but he didn't have the concentration of the focus necessary and dropped it before he could haul it in. Second and 10. Now Wilson. Got a man, that's Lazard. And finally down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Wilson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Well, it hasn't been a better first half for the defense trying to cover him today, but they'll take that one right there, helping force that incompletion. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. The tight end in motion right. On second down, Cook. And he's going to take it in for a Jets touchdown. Dalvin Cook taking it in from seven yards away. And the Jets are able to stretch out their lead. Sometimes you get a first and goal and you're back near the seven, eight, nine yard line and you start thinking, maybe we'll run it here on first down to get half of what we need so maybe we can have two or three shots at going for it from closer range. So this is a bonus right here. What a great run to work his way into the end zone. Zerline good with a PAT, and that will make this a 19-point game. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Shoves him away. And it'll be an excellent return as he's all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Well, whatever the relationship was between the special teams and the offense, it's gotten a heck of a lot closer after a return like that. The special teams just keep setting them up. The offense thinks they'll go out there and knock them down. New England's offense set to go. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot, great opportunity to run your full playbook. If they want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. Going play action here with Zappi. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. Maybe a little over anxious in the pocket there. He just didn't look comfortable on that throw. No, he didn't because it wasn't his normal fluid delivery. And I think you might have had it right. Wasn't really confident with what he saw downfield and almost felt like he wanted to pull that one back. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. 
Now back to throw. And they will not get the connection there. It's incomplete. A couple of quick incompletions, and now they're just one more away from getting off the field. They've got options now. Could they dial up a blitz here or just drop everyone into coverage to crowd the throwing lanes? The offense on third down, two for five to this point. This is third and ten. Zappi working from the gun. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half, but I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Zappi going to bootleg out. Parker's got it for a New England touchdown. Eight yards on the touchdown pass, and the Patriots are able to cut into that deficit. Great field position has to be one of the best friends an offense can have. When you don't have very far to go, you should cash it in with points. Chad Ryland now to add the PAT. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. Just a four-play drive that time. And Devontae Parker able to finish it off with a touchdown reception. now following the touchdown back out to kick it away and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and he's up past the 20 to the 22 yard line and New York set to take the field this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles's defense they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field and frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated, they both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. They'll start on the ground, Hall. And a short pickup to about the 27, it'll be second down. Now a second and six. They go play action with Wilson. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Garrett Wilson, the intended receiver, but now it'll be third down. Wilson. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That might be the third down stop that they needed because they've had a lot of trouble slowing down this offense in the first half. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. So a change of possession here on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. So the Patriots coming out now. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've got them pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play at the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Second and seven. Get 
They run once more with Stevenson. That's going to be a six-yard gain. It leaves him with third down and just a yard to go. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. A solid stiff one. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 17 yards there for the Patriots as they've got themselves a first down. Brad, what were they thinking on defense there? That looked like they were playing for the pass. That was third and short. Yeah, it was an easy pickup because they handed it to him. That was way too easy. Just looked like absolute confusion defensively. Not sure why they were in that set. Yeah, I'd say you ought to have a few men in the box there. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. 50 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. From the 38 now, here's second down and one. Zappi looks to throw it. A quick throw there is incomplete. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. He'll look to throw. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 24-yard line. 14 yards through the air. Caught the D off guard on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. 11 more on that one, and another first down. And maybe that touchdown on the previous drive has re-energized this offense a little bit. They've been kind of sluggish until then, but they're showing signs of life here, and they get good yardage that time and a first down. Zappi fakes a handoff, looks to throw it. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. As a corner, you have to be able to run with guys step for step downfield of man coverage and make up ground quickly in zone. You have to put yourself in position to make plays just like that one we saw there. Now a second and 10. They'll throw again with Zappi. Touchdown! And the Patriots get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. All the receivers in the league are plenty good enough, otherwise they wouldn't make it in the NFL. But the ones that go to the Pro Bowl, they have refined route running ability. Now Ryland for the PAT. And this is back to a five-point game. That time, a nine-play drive. And it ends with a New England touchdown. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. Brees Hall helped leading out this offense for another series. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend.
They'll throw on first down with Wilson. And he'll slide down to avoid the tackle. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine for the 26. Now it's Wilson. This is Cobb with a catch right side. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Third and five. There's Wilson to throw. And that one will fall incomplete. Clock here now, just under 30 seconds to go in this first half. And I feel like my man, old Mo, momentum might be changing jerseys right now. How about what they just got done? They scored a touchdown their last drive. Now here's a three and out. Maybe momentum's getting ready to creep to the other sideline. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Fielded just inside the 30. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Nineteen seconds showing to play in the half as they come up here first and ten. Off the fake, Zappy. Throw left side, complete to Smith Schuster. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. On first down, here's Zappi. And this complete to Henry over the middle. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Looking to throw, Zappi. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good, and this will remain a five-point game. Yeah, it's been a disappointing first half for him, all things considered, and this can serve as the capper. It's a missed field goal in the late going, and that's only going to serve to lessen the mood even further. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half, it's Wilson. He's gonna take a shot at the end zone, why not? And that is incomplete. So we've reached halftime with the visiting Jets on top. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, back to you too in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report.
both of these offenses had their share of high points in that first half. Each team had some big moments, and it would seem this could turn out to be a game where the last score wins. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. And we will not have a run back here as the second half starts with a touchback. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. This offense, Charles, had a strong first half throwing the football, at least in terms of yardage, but that hasn't translated so far on the scoreboard as they begin the third quarter here trailing and looking for a little momentum. Yeah, you're right about that because, you know, let's face it, in the first half, most of their focus was in the passing game, and to their credit, resulted in a healthy amount of yardage. So I would think that at halftime, they're going to anticipate that defense loosening up a little bit to try and cover the passing lanes. They've got to get the running game going, and there should be some gaps to run through now. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Zampi. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Stevenson. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Boy, a lot of moving parts on this play, but what a nice design to leak the running back out to the left and send him down the field. And a good job spotting him and hitting him for a big play. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Zappi back to throw. He finds Douglas complete. Some extra space following the display of power. Down just inside the 45. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And it'll be second down. Now Zappi. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 31-yard line. 12 yards there as they move the chains. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? Zappi's throw complete there to Smith-Schuster. And he's brought down after a very nice game. It was an impressive 31-yard game. The timing was absolutely true as he caught it working across the field. Plenty of space for him to roam, but notice how he keeps his head on a swivel, looking for defenders who may crop up out of nowhere. That turned into a big play. Elliott, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Now that sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. Again, it's Elliott. And Zeke is in. Patriots have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. 
And this is where you're hoping you can catch the defense with too many men in the box. You line up in a jumbo set and pull people close to the line of scrimmage and in tight. And then it was all about closing off the angles of pursuit on the strong side and hoping your guy can win the race to the outside. And that time, he takes a toss and falls his lead blocker right into the end zone. And he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about. Not getting beat at this stage, at least give your team a fighting chance. out is the kicker Ryland and he'll send this one away taken at the goal line and able to get this across the 20 but not much further as he's dropped at the 23 yard line so here's the Jets offense now as they get ready for their first possession of the second half Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 23. Off play action. Wilson to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it, but he is able to keep the feet in bounds. I do have to admit, I like it when it all comes together. When the top part, catching the football, right? Whether you're catching it with your hands or cradling it, comes together with the legs, in this case the feet, did a little toe tap to stay in bounds and complete the catch. And a great job by our crew on the camera shot. Love when you see the grass or on the field turf, those rubber pellets flying up. Great catch. This now a third and four. Here's Wilson. That is caught. And he'll be touched down here, but not before he does pick up the first. Give him 12 yards there, and the Jets have a first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Now Wilson on first down. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They've got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he'll make it only to the 43, a gain of two. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. We'll get a report when we return to Foxborough. Here now a third down and eight. Now it's Wilson. Pass to the sideline and pulled in. And he is out of bounds inside the 35. That third down conversion good for 23. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot and they connected there and picked up a first down. 
straight ahead is home. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. It's a pickup of three. Brings up second and seven at the 31 yard line. Let's go. Snap will come from the 31 on second and seven. Now Wilson. Throw left side complete. That's Cobb. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Running left, it's Hall. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Tough sequence there for the offensive line. Well, it gives us a chance to shine a little spotlight on the defensive linemen, on the defensive tackles. They don't normally get a bunch of praise, but it all starts there, doesn't it? If you're going to have a good run defense, they have to hold the point of attack and make plays as they just did there. And he's going to be taken down. got in there for the sack. The passing game's been struggling a bit today, and that was the latest example. Haven't been getting much yardage out of it, and now on his back after the last play, he faces third and long. So now Wilson and the Jets with a third and long here following the sack. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And yeah, they will touch him down, but not before he gets the first. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. And I'll tell you what, this offense is playing a little bit of keep away right now. They've come out here in the third quarter, possessed the ball for quite a while, and they keep on converting. Nice pitch and catch there to set up the first and goal. So another third down conversion, and now they've got a first and goal. Hall on a give up the middle. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle, keep coming after them, put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Now Wilson. And it's caught. Touchdown, Jets. A seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Jets have retaken a third-quarter lead. So a very strong first drive in the second half, Charles, as they've turned that halftime deficit into a third-quarter lead. And they were pretty purposeful there, weren't they? Measured in their approach. But boy, they executed awfully well, moving the ball down the field. Zerline now for the PAT. And that will make this a four-point game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And it's finished off by a New York Jets touchdown. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. New England trying to get to place on offense. So remember, Charles, last time they were out here, they scored, but they just saw the opposition score, and they're trailing right now, so they're trying to keep pace here. They need a touchdown drive. Well, if you're a fan of offense, you're loving this, but if you're a fan of defense, this is tough to watch, and it's also tough to keep that up when you've just watched your opponent march down the field on a scoring drive that lasts into double-digit snaps. You need a score here not just to follow the momentum from your last drive, but put the onus back on your opponent. And that's what they're doing right now, swapping that onus back and forth. 
And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25 yard line. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Here's Zappi. Over the middle, he's got Parker. And Parker's going to pick up a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to the 32. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Play fake, and now here's Zappi. He'll get this to his tight end, Gesicki. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Here's second and five now from the 37. Zappi working from the gun. To the right side, he's got Parker. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. To the right side, this is Stevenson. Gets around him, and he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. From the 43, here's second and a yard. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll go down, shy of the 40 at the 41. Two yards on the pickup, and that's all they needed to move the sticks. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game, first and 10 here. Zappi's throw here, taken in by Parker. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. The catch and run pays off for 29 yards. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Zappi going to bootleg out. Got a man, it's Brown. And this carry brought to an end at the 8. Good stick skills, just not much room there to operate. Short completion, just four yards, and it's second down. Now that tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramon Ray Stevenson, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots, on the final play of the third quarter, have taken the lead. So, part it was a passing game that drove them down the field, but when they get close, they trust that man in the backfield, and he took them home. And they trust their offensive line as well, because so many of these units, they specialize in either pass protection or run blocking. This group shows his versatility and gets both done on this drive. The extra point by Ryland up and good, and that gives him a three-point lead. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Foxborough, where the fourth quarter will begin with a kickoff following the score of the final play of the third quarter.
Island now following the touchdown back out to kick it away. On the return is Xavier Gibson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Now the Jet offense about to take over as they head out onto the field. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 26. Now Hall to start the drive. And he powers his way up past the 30. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. From the 31, here's second down and five. To throw is Wilson. He finds his man complete. That's Wilson. A five-yard pass on the heels of a five-yard run. Good enough for the first. Here's Wilson. This pass out wide to Hall. So the completion good for just three. And that'll bring up second down. Wilson. Caught by Cobb. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. First and ten, it's Hall. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. From the 44-yard line, here's second and two. Second down, a run with Hall. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. Four yards, the pickup, first down. Not too many more ideal situations in second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. Here's a quick throw out to Wilson. And some room to maneuver. And he's going to get this inside the 30. The Jet passing game in rhythm. They've got another first. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. On first down, Wilson. And that, oh, nearly picked off. Well, it would have been a great time for their first interception of the game. Instead, it's second down. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. Back to the ground with Hall. Couldn't get the edge there, wasn't sealed, so maybe not all on the guy running the football all the time on those tosses and the pitches that go to the outside. No, not at all. I would agree with that totally because sometimes the defensive guys, they win the edge battle. And when they do that, there's no place for the running back to go, and especially for offensive linemen trying to get out ahead. With their footwork and speed, it was negligible on that play. No gain at all for the offense. A loss of a yard, and it brings up four. 
I know they've got to be careful not to go to the wall too often, but it's a fine line, isn't it? Because sometimes, if you've got success, you want to just keep pounding away. But no success there. They rallied quickly on the defensive end. So on now is Greg Zerline in a pressure situation. From the right hash, this from 45 yards away. Zerline's kick is up and through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. I tell you, the life of a kicker. He has not been called on the entire game. He's over there by the net. But they send him out here in the fourth quarter and say, hey, go tie the game, will you? And guess what? He comes through. I just don't know how they do it. I really don't. These cats are a different breed from you and me. That's a pressure kick, but that one was never in doubt. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get this up to the 29. New England's offense set to go. And we essentially have a brand new ball game. After that last field goal has tied us all up, we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter. Zappi and the Patriots come up here first and 10. Just shy of the 30. In motion right goes Smith-Schuster. Here's a fake on the jet sweep and instead a give up the middle. And he'll manage to break a tackle and get this forward for a couple. It'll be second down. Here's a second and eight. Again, it's Stevenson. Runs over. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk at a 45. 85 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson. And a first down. Oftentimes, broken tackles are his specialties. So put another one on his tally there. Yeah, no doubt about it. One-on-one, -on -one, not likely to get him down. You need everyone else to get there and help you. I think they were signaling for you and I to jump on the pile and try and get him down, weren't they? You don't want me out there, I promise you. Now this throw caught left side. And he's going to get this down to the 35-yard line. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. Our coaches always talk about finding balance on offense. How they can get much more balance than this. Big time run, big time pass. A one-two combination. Look pretty good. How about that? Let's see, if they, let's see if they can continue to take that kind of a punch, though. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 35-yard line. Zappy. Throw's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. From the shotgun, Zappi. That is incomplete. But plain and simple, that's the second time today that he's dropped a pass. And that one, I think, maybe even a little easier than the earlier one that he dropped. Surprising. Was this game announced as a night game prior to it? Maybe his rhythm is confused. just off. He's got know. thrown off. He's got to wake up, enjoy the sunshine, and go play. Zappy on third down. Going top shelf for Smith Schuster. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Ah, oh, that would have been a nice one to hit on in a tie game. You start to think that one big play, maybe the next big play, could turn out to be the game winner. They took the big shot, but it winds up incomplete. And that is no good. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. What a tough spot to miss a kick. Just an absolute letdown. Look, they got themselves in the field goal range. Gave them a chance to take the lead. They come up empty. And now you wonder, 
Will their offense ever see the football again? Yeah, because on the other side, one through the post, and this thing could be over. Wilson leading the Jets up now for a first and 10 at their own 42. Throwing to start the drive, Wilson. He'll find Lazard here over the middle. And yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that will bring up second down. Now it's Wilson. too far out in front and it's incomplete one thing i have learned receivers don't mind how i throw so much to the sideline but do that over the middle to them and not only are the db's gonna throw a little verbal trash their way when they get back to the huddle they're gonna have a few words to say to their qb aren't they yeah hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw luckily fell incomplete from the gun on third down wilson Jim Barmore getting in there to drop him. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense. So he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he's on to punt for New York. Fair catch called. It's taken in right at the 20-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Zappy and the Patriots come up here first and 10 at their own 21. It's Stevenson with a run to begin the drive and just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. Being strong up the middle is imperative. I don't care what your sport, but in football, when you've got a D tackle, it can contribute not only to occupying bodies, but also making plays on the ball carrier. That's when you have the cornerstone of a solid run defense. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That burst good for 20 and a first down. That outside handoff to the left, that play has to warm the heart of an offensive line coach because they controlled the left side where they were supposed to. But they didn't allow anything to leak from the back side on the right side of the offensive line either. Well played. Yeah, and it created a big run. Stevenson now on first and 10. He'll get this up to about the 44. Second and six. On the counter, it's Stevenson. And a good pick up there. He gets about six up to midfield. But just a gigantic play here, both sides. This is third and inches. Zappi off play action. And that's going to be incomplete. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. Here it is, fourth and inches. They'll run for it. It's Stevenson. Treads it with a stiff arm. And he'll be taken down with a first down as they get a 14 on that one. And we go to the two minute warning. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. 
Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Off the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll get it inside the 35. Second down, eight yards to go. They run once more with Stevenson. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Boy, here's a big one. You can just feel it. This is third down now. Running left is Stevenson. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. Now the Jets going to use the second of their three timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This for the lead in the final stages. And his kick is indeed good. And they have taken the lead here in the final two minutes. Big kick right there to give him the lead in the fourth, but there is still time left for a final drive. Did they score too soon? Post game will tell us, right? Depending on what happens on this drive, that's how we'll analyze it. If the other team scores, they score too soon. If they somehow hold on, they manage the clock exactly right. So after the field goal, Ryland back out as he'll send this one away. And it'll come out to the 25 as he will not attempt to return. So here's Wilson and the Jets down 34-31. A little over 80 ticks to go. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Wilson. And his throw here is incomplete. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. Another try, second and ten now. Now Wilson. taken down but not before they work it across midfield uh, he's been quiet all afternoon he may have just come up with a play of the day right there though obviously it's not the volume in what you get done it's the quality and that was a quality catch right there final minute one timeout remaining first and ten They're able to complete this one to Tyler Conklin and he works it past the 30 almost to the 25 and two big plays, one after the other. Now, all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done and now feel really good about what's in front of them. Here's first down. Throwing now is Wilson. Dancing to his left. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a halt. Nice solid game there, partner, but the clock is starting to become his enemy. Absolutely. Every second right now, more and more precious as it ticks. And now the timeout call. So five seconds left, and a field goal would send us to overtime. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left.
So Wilson runs off, and now they will go to the man they call Greg the Leg, Greg Zerline. This to potentially send us to overtime. And the 11-year veteran bangs it through, and they will tie this game here in the final seconds. So a money kick there in the final seconds, and now, barring any hijinks on the kickoff here, partner, I think you and I, we're going to settle in for a little overtime. And I wouldn't have it any other way. This has been a dogfight all through regulation. No reason to think it won't continue in the extra period. So overtime on the horizon, barring a wild finish here as the kick's away. And we have free football overtime. Here we go, my friend. And the way this game played out, this is exactly how it should end, going to overtime because neither one got an advantage today. So the Jets won the toss. They'll get the first shot at finding a winner as we are back underway here in overtime. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. The Jets offensive unit ready to get going here. I cannot imagine how these players and coaches feel, Charles. <laughs> My palms sweating up here in the booth now as we go to the third drive of overtime. And, and as we know from here on out, any points win this football game. I'll throw you a towel as well, partner. I've got one for myself, but let's face it. Our nerves, our pressure, nothing compared to what's going on on that field. Both of the field goal kickers active here early. Can one of them become the hero and end this thing? Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's him. There to stop him, Juwan Bentley. Defense doing their job, really nowhere to run the football. Yeah, it's almost textbook, wasn't it? Every place he tried to find an open spot, there just wasn't one. Congrats to the defense, no gain. Call fitting your gaps, right? I love it. You're exactly right. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw. It's knocked away and incomplete. Once that ball was popped in the air, you could almost hear the silence, the collective breath being held here in the stadium. Let's be honest about it. We both came out of our chairs, didn't we? All right, anytime you see the ball in the air like that, there is that collective rise, the crowd holding its breath, and boy, oh boy, the moment of truth as it comes down. Man, that was something. Everything magnified here in overtime. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The temptation to go for it, probably there. Always his, especially in overtime. Got to punt it, though. I think you're right. I think that you absolutely have to punt it away and trust your defense, especially play a little field position here. But you're so right about the temptation. Another way to satisfy that, though, line up in punt formation and fake it. That's another way to get it done. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. Well, their defense did the job, got off the field without giving up any points. And now, Charles, all they need here is a field goal and they get the victory. Yeah, and this is the way I love overtime. I'm one of those really, really old school guys that like sudden death right from the beginning. Well, we've got it now because any points wins the game. On defense, get a safety, a pick six, fumble return. You can win it as well. So I'm really looking forward to this series and see how both sides play it. And now Zappi targets Parker, and he's got him on the crossing run. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. This drive starting off on the right foot, 18 yards. So he hooked up with a veteran there, and in overtime, that's not a bad idea. Go with the age and the experience. Yeah, because sometimes the young guys, they give you the fresh legs, they give you all that bounce. But in this type of a situation, sometimes those legs slow down a little bit as the enormity of the moment overwhelms them. The veteran guys, they tend to come through. 
On first down, here's Zappi. And his throw's going to be incomplete. I know tight ends love this route because a lot of times they'll fake a block first and get a little bit of space and then come across the middle because in their mind, they're thinking catch the ball and then drop the hammer on the little guys in the secondary. Unable to drop the hammer, he just dropped the pass. Second and ten, once again, here's Zappi. Open man right side of Smith-Schuster complete. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 34-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. From the 34 now, here's first and ten. From the gun, it's Stevenson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. The tackle by Quincy Williams. Well, if you look where that play starts, O-line versus D-line, that was a battle won by the D-line. Yeah, and oftentimes it's won by quickness off the ball. Who can handle the guy across from them best? On that play, the defensive line did exactly that. Zappi from the gun. Throw right side, going to be taken in by Henry. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. He's padding his already great numbers here in overtime. More importantly, though, moving his guys downfield. And I think that's exactly what's going through his head right now. Moving them downfield, putting them in a position to win the game. The stats, that's for the fantasy guys. <laughs> I know they're enjoying that show. Now a short one to Gesicki, and he will have a Patriots first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. Zappi to throw on first down. Out route, and this is Henry with the catch. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. The Patriot passing game is rolling. They've got another first down. Straight ahead at Stevenson. 146 yards rushing for him now as he is just trying to will his guys to an overtime victory. And I know you, with every carry, especially in overtime, you're just saying, if you're that ball carrier, hold on to the football. Hold on to it, protect it, but not necessarily settle it because you're trying to get to the end zone. You're trying to end the game right here. And I know the defensive guys poking, clawing, raking, trying to knock the ball free and protect their end zone. Yeah, like you alluded to, especially this part of the field. Trying to keep those big legs churning, but he's going to go down in the backfield. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. Now Zappi. I uh, had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So it all rides now on the foot of the kicker, Chad Ryland. This to win it in overtime. Now the Jets are going to burn another timeout. They'll be down to just one remaining as we step aside here in overtime. And now it all rests on the right foot of their kicker. This will be just a 21-yard attempt. And he got it! The kick is good in overtime. He's able to split the uprights. And it'll be a good time in the back bay tonight. The Patriots have won the football game. Well, things started off exciting. This one had a high-scoring first half, and nobody let their foot off the gas in the second half either, Charles. And you know, for them, a really nice victory in a high-scoring output. You're right about that because so many times we'll see teams...
Harper near the end of games, as we know, because everyone tightens down. But no such issues in this game. The scoring started right away and held up at a steady clip the remainder of the game.